Hi hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to a new video on this channel. Today I bring you a different video to the content that I usually have, this is because lately I have been reflecting a lot about my channel and how it affects me in my normal life, so I thought you might want to know these concerns, or even I think it can be useful for those who are thinking about creating a YouTube channel. I think it is also important to know everything you can find, so without anything else to say let's get started. I think this is quite basic, but it is very important, since whatever content you make, you will get hate sooner or later. It is not even limited to those people who make controversial content or with videos that can sometimes offend to the people. But in literally any video, not everyone can express disagreement calmly. In my case, I don't receive that many hate comments, but from time to time there are some like this person who said this beautiful thing to me. What was my crime you ask? What was the thing I said that offended that person enough to make that comment? That Jenny's solo changed me and that it was revolutionary. Hey, can I, lie? Can I, fucking lie? I can't imagine how someone could write a comment like that, and there are many like this one, but this one and a few others in which such strong things are said, are the ones that really stand out. And I consider it very unfair that I always remember of this comment, but I can't remember those who send me support and say nice things to me. The destructive always leaves a mark, that is why as much as most of my comments are good, from time to time there are also some of these, and if you're having a bad day this could be so destructive. Is yet to come, yeah. This is a new insecurity of mine. I recently uploaded a video about Egeo in which I talked about how frowned upon it is internationally, and the hate that idols receive for doing it. As a summary in case you didn't see it, I also comment on the culture behind the act, the history, and I emphasize on those people who say that people who like Egeo are those types of people with mental problems who like children too much. I can't say the word, but I did put it on the thumbnail so that it would be known that I would talk about all that controversy in the video. When looking at the comments I saw that there was a person who said that they thought I was calling Sun Yu from in hype and a pedophile on the thumbnail. I was shocked, but it wasn't that bad, since my intentions were good, that is, I put both him and Chu on the thumbnail, because they are both idols who are quite known for being cute, so it went perfectly with what I wanted to say in the video. But then I saw more comments about it with quite a few likes from people who I guess thought the same thing, made me worry that people would think I had made such an accusation towards an idol that I personally love. It is something that now terrifies me to repeat a similar mistake, or a more serious one if possible. They were also very kind to tell me correctly, because there are people who could have gotten very angry and commented atrocious things before watching the video, so at least the good part one get from that is that there are good people willing to do things right. The title may seem a little confusing, but basically what I want to say is that, most of the videos I upload are based on my opinion, songs ranking, my opinion on different comebacks, and sometimes I feel that my opinion is not founded enough, or that I am missing parts in which I do not have a clear opinion, or my opinion is simply neutral in many cases. An example of this would be in the videos where I show my favorite part of some songs, and my least favorite. There are many times, especially with the part that I don't like, that I don't have a clear reason, I just enjoy other parts more, and when making videos, it's okay to put it once or twice as a reason, but if it's in 15 songs, I feel like my opinion is less valid, and sometimes I add things that I don't feel at all so as not to repeat myself or make you think that I'm not clear about my opinion. I know of KTubers who do it a lot and who, in order to fill a video, are able to say that their favorite song by an artist is one they haven't heard, but that's not how I want to do things, and I'm afraid of feeling pressured by time or other factors to be like this, like some other channels. And that brings me to my next point. There is a lot of toxicity in this world, and if the Reddit or Twitter fans seem toxic to you, 
you should be in the groups of KTubers that they have on Discord or Instagram. In addition to criticizing absolutely everything, they seem to have no real interest in K-pop, maybe three or four groups, and they laugh at the others. It is extremely sad that some people are fans or followers of their content, I was, but after knowing what is behind it, no thanks. And if even myself, who am nobody in the K-tuber world, have sent me an application to be in some of these groups, I can't imagine what the groups where the important people are really in are like. Not to mention those who ask you for collaborations and then never do their part. I have found few of those, but very intense. Even more than a year ago I made a video of one because it made me so angry. You can watch the video if you want more context, but ignore the editing. I knew even less about editing back then than I do now. Not uploading videos on time is also a concern that I have, but if we expand the scope further, in reality what I am afraid of is that people will forget me for not uploading videos. That is to say, when I upload a video, and then notification appears on your phone, or it appears on your YouTube page. I feel that by consuming my content little by little you become fond of my channel. If one day I fail, and I don't upload anything, it is a day that you will surely not see my content, therefore you will not remember it. That is because I know my channel isn't big enough to have a name on its own. I know that you watch my channel as you could see another, I don't contribute anything different. That's why I'm afraid that suddenly one day, you won't like it anymore, you won't see it anymore or that YouTube doesn't show it anymore, cause that's where my views come from. I usually upload two videos per week, because besides being at university, I'm the administrator of two Instagram accounts, and I work in the evenings. It's hard to make time to edit videos, but I'm the one who wants to do it. This summer I was able to upload three videos a week, and I'm afraid that by now doing only two people won't like it anymore. I could say that it is one of the things that worries me the most. I don't have any editing training, until a few months ago I was editing on my phone, and to be real honest I don't really know how to edit. I feel like I'm not up to par with everything I get, and that I should give you more. Maybe make videos with my voice, but I'm not an English speaker, and my accent may sound bad to some. I've also tried different types of editing over the years I've been making videos, but I seem to be going backwards. I appreciate the comments that tell me they like my editing, but unfortunately I don't quite believe it. I have some more worries like running out of ideas or making other kind of mistakes, so if you want a second part, I can do it without any problem, also please tell me what you think, and if you want me to make more videos of this kind. And this has been all, I hope you like it, make sure to like and subscribe if you did. It would help me a lot. See ya.